Greetings YouTube, happy Saturday. It is my promise to you that as long as I'm by a way to record an offer, no matter how great it is, no matter how many July 4ths come around, or no matter how terrible it is, uh, I will give it a grade and I will try to help you make the smartest decision with your units and your cash. And so today, we have a chance to get gold for so many people who are super thirsty for gold because they hate the arena they do not want to grind in the arena they want to do anything but the arena they'd rather go to the dmv or the dentist's office than the arena that's how much they hate grinding in the arena so maybe if you have some units that are still left over from the july 4th sales you'll want to throw some at this offer keep in mind though it is a tiered offer as july 4th was and we'll get to that but when you click that handy dandy icon you'll see the gold drop rates are 100%. This crystal offers a minimum of 15,000 gold. So this is going to give you a minimum of 300,000 gold for 500 units. And that would be enough when we remember what units normally cost for essentially about 20 bucks worth of units for 300,000 gold. Now, I truly believe that uh, that's a slightly better than average deal because I think $50 bundle should include 500,000 gold and $99.99 offers Odin's should include a million gold. But of course, normally it comes with a lot more than just the gold in those offers. And this, unfortunately, you only get really one extra bonus, and that is the tier one alphas. I will say the 100,000 gold does make it 400,000, you know? So it's not terrible if you need gold. Now, there are multiple levels to this, and so let's look at this. Now, like I said, it's tiered. So if you are uncollected, you will see what popped up on my screen. Of course, if you're Cavalier, you will too. And if you're not uncollected, you will see something else 40 times the uncollected golden crystals. But uh, that's the second tier, excuse me. You'll see the greater golden crystals, and there'll be 30 of those. I don't know how much gold is in those because it doesn't look like it says. But uh, basically, if you're not uncollected and you need gold, <laughs> this is probably like a D plus, C minus value at best. You'd be much better just grinding a few three-star arena fights. But I, uh, I do think the 40 times uncollected, which I guess would give you a minimum of 600,000 gold, and then when you add that to 200,000, it'd be 800,000, and then you get double the uh, tier one alphas, which is better than nothing, I guess. I, you know, for people who really, really need gold, like let's say you landed that amazing uh, five-star champion, you, you finally got Aegon and you were able to awaken him, or maybe you're finally able to get like an amazing six-star, maybe you got like a six-star Corvus and you just, you don't have any gold, right? Well, Kabam's pretty genius for having this because they know that so many people got so many new champs, but maybe they don't have the rank up materials and gold certainly was not available really on July 4th. I also want to spend this time to talk about the second banner, which <laughs> is quite interesting. I am somebody that is not really a big collector in this game, meaning when there's special two-star opportunities, I just save my units. I, uh, I just really don't care if I get the rare two-star champions, but I know a lot of people who do, and hats off to you. I mean, I guess that's part of collecting. Part of the game kind of reminds me of uh, when I played Pokemon back in the day. You know, just, you got to catch them all, right? You got to fill up your roster. So the, the funny thing, though, is now for 200 units, if you're Cavalier, you can have a chance for a six-star. I once spent 400 units and got two six-stars, Guillotine and Ghost, the best 400 units by far I've ever spent of my life. And so now with these collector's crystals, they're 50 units a piece, which I think in this day and age, 50 units for a one-star champion, it's just way too high. Like these things should be like 10 units. Uh, but it says these crystals have a chance to award a one or two-star champion that cannot be obtained from a premium hero crystal or daily crystal. And so the drop rates of these are 75% two-star, 25% one-star. Now, my belief is this. If you're going to charge 50 units, it should be 100% two-star. But maybe you guys really want the rare one-star heroes? Am I being crazy for thinking that, that that shouldn't exist? 
I mean, two-star heroes, at least you can max them out and run them in the two-star arena. And I also think two-star heroes are highly undervalued in terms of that uh, infinite streak potential. I also think that we have seen in the past year two-star gates where you can only use two-star champions to enter certain content. I also know from experience that two stars can be a great way to maximize your points in the level up event and take a two star from like rank one to max rank and get most of those points for the free 25 units uh, milestone. But, uh, you know, in general, I'm just not thrilled about this. I think 50 units is just, I mean, that's a fourth. You buy four of those, right? The best you can do is four two-star champions, even if they're new two-star champions. And that's the same price if your Cavalier has a 10% chance for a five-star and, you know, a 1% chance and a six-star. I just I just find it kind of high. But, you know, some people might disagree. What else is new? Either way, uh, I would grade these for price-wise at a D. And people are going to be like, Prof, you're being too critical. There's rare champions in there. Well, I'm just looking at the specific value for your units, as I always try to. It's actually much better guaranteed value if you hate the arena, particularly you don't have gold reserves, you're not like me, you're not Scrooge McDuck, and you don't have 90 million plus in gold, just chilling. Uh, yeah, it's better if uh, if you wait and you just use your units in something better. But Kabam is getting real creative. We've got the featured item store. Uh, yesterday we got the Spider-Verse bundles, and now we have the collector crystals and the gold offers. So... They used to take a couple days off, kind of have it be their Sabbath days of rest after July 4th. Now they're just cranking out those offers right and left to try to take your units and maybe even your cash. So those are the grades. The gold, honestly, I would give like a B minus now that I've kind of calculated it all and seen it for people who desperately need gold. And if you, um, if that's the only thing standing in your way of taking up a champion, if you have everything else, even if it's like a a chance to take a five star up to rank five or even a six star to rank two would be amazing. You know, if you've got the tier five basic and the tier two alpha and the tier four class catalyst, the tier one alpha, etc., you just need gold. I guess today's your lucky day. I just hope you have some units left over from July 4th because some people just passed out going for Cavaliers. They're just, they had to spend their units. They just, they had to. <laughs> so, you know, they just, they threw all everything at Cavs and, uh, and then passed out. But thankfully, I've got about 5,800 units that I'm going to save, maybe for the new Spider Man, maybe for a, a great offer. I don't know. I like, having units at my disposal. Either way, thanks for watching YouTube. Have a great Saturday. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.